got an ankle hitch. Again, above the malleoli, the medial and the lateral malleoli. Above it, the ankle hitch. So this only needs to be about 10 inches beyond. So you can, with this ski pole or this uh, tent pole type of mechanism, you can make it smaller. Hang in there, Joe. Make it smaller. <laughs> See how that goes? Prior to pulling traction. Prior to pulling traction. Now the other ones we put the pads on after the mechanical traction replaced the manual traction. But this one, the goal is, is to put this one directly over the knee because it provides some stability here while you're pulling the traction. So again, no more than 10, 15 pounds or 10% of the patient's body weight. You can see the little scale here on the, uh, the Sager. Okay. So we've got that on, we've got the pads. And again, at the end, we always check our CSMs again. So what I like to do is to help the, the large, uh, or the Sager had the larger hip band, but what I also like to help is to beam the patient onto the backboard. Is to do some what I call anatomical splinting. Basically using those triangular bandages just to try to help keep things a little bit snug, minimizing movement because it's the movement that could potentially cause the pain here as the bone ends grind against each other with the crepitation or against the tissue. Okay. Questions on those? Everybody just like, get up and take a look and just take five minutes and look at the mechanical component.